I'm about to move into my dream apartment, but before that, let's go through a full in-depth gaming room tour before I take it all down and start fresh. Being in this room brought so many good memories, but I'm so happy to start over in a bigger and better space. Starting off with my beanbag, it's from Amazon. By the way, I'll leave every single thing linked in the description, so don't worry. The beanbag is made of boot clay and it's massive. It's a little frumpy, but I don't mind it too much. It also comes with an ottoman and has a pocket too, which is nice for the price. There is no head support because the foam doesn't properly fill the back, but whatever, for the price point, it's okay. The pillowcase is from AliExpress and I love it, so it's definitely coming with me too. And the purple checkered blanket I got online from Indigo. Next is the rug from Amazon. It was super cheap and feels really synthetic, so I'm not taking this with me, but it served its purpose here. This double-sided lamp is also from Amazon. One side is cooler warm light and the center of it can either be a few RGB colors. I wish the RGB was stronger, so this won't be coming with me. I also find myself not really using it. Next is my shelf that blocks this ugly doorway to outside. This is the Ikea John Oxo shelf and it was so annoying and loud to assemble. It's also janky and slanted. Up top are these candles and candle holders from AliExpress. And then this is my beloved custom Lego Fortnite bus ticket. On the second shelf is a faux plant from HomeSense, a Dare You A98 Pro 2 neon keyboard, a Logitech K585 for when I use my MacBook, and some trade kits from AliExpress. This mushroom lamp is from HomeSense. I saw it one day, but I couldn't buy it, so I came back the next week and it was gone. I found it like four months later, so I had to get it. The blue mirror and picture frame are from AliExpress. The faux snake plant is from HomeSense, and the retro computer charger is from Charge. This whole shelf is essentially from AliExpress because I bought a bunch of stuff from there, including those slippers when I did my room makeover, in case you're wondering. This purple wire end table is from Amazon and I think it's so cute, even though I never got around to actually decorating it very much. These are all of my original games that I had since I was a kid. And that pop can candle is from HomeSense because I thought it was cute. This planter is one of my favorite finds ever. I can't believe I found it on Amazon. It feels really well made and I just adore it. It's so fun, I get asked about it a lot. And then the faux plant is also from Amazon, really love it. For a fake plant, I think it looks great. I don't mind the ugly pipes, but I used pant hangers for my mouse pads. And the mouse pads are super cheap from Amazon, but I don't use them anymore, so they're definitely gonna go. These pictures I got from AliExpress for the makeover, they're cute, but I think it'll be a different vibe in the new place, so I'm not sure about bringing them. Now onto this side of the room. This is my TV stand, and I originally got it to transform my room for the gaming projector area. It's from Amazon, and I'm taking this with me to the new apartment for a similar area in the new room. It gives a good amount of storage and even has built-in RGB, even though it's pretty basic with the remote. These are some of my books. I love the Diabolic series, so good, one of my favorites. And we've got my Kindle and Nintendo Switch. In here, I have a bunch of old extra lighting and cables, nothing special. This is High Ground's new clear crystal and rose quartz. It's so silent. I'm really excited to try it. Then I have my main keyboard up top that I built myself, the WinLab Sin 65 and the Milgeek 68 below. These are my ladies. In the center, we have my NZXT Player 2 Prime pre-built computer with a 4070 Ti. We love her. She is great. These are my fake books from AliExpress with my MSI recycled pen holder, some flowers from AliExpress, and my Google Pixel 9 Pro XL. I forgot to mention the Govi Aura lamp right there and my Pixio monitor, but that's really it. Moving on to my treehouse bookshelf, which isn't coming with me, unfortunately, but it served its purpose as well. Down below are some of my favorite book series ever and more of my original Sims 2 games, plus some Stardew books and a Sims cookbook from friends. Some books I haven't read yet and my Cool Killer CK75 keyboard and some of my fun nail polishes and a dust silver keyboard. This is the Cooler Master MK770 hybrid keyboard in Macron. I got this tester from AliExpress because I saw a girl on Instagram have one in pink and I loved it, so I needed to find one in purple to match my room. And we've got my Logitech G735 headphones from the Aurora collection, my Logitech MX Master 3 mouse, and the Logitech G175 keyboard. Lastly on top is my framed Logitech G502 plaque for their 10th anniversary and a faux plant from Ikea. And that's it for the treehouse shelf. I won't be bringing it because it's not sturdy at all, so I don't want to risk it falling in the new place. Next is my infamous fake window that I'm giving to a friend who works from home and doesn't have a ton of sun either because I definitely won't be needing it anymore. Then one of the things I get asked about the most is what my PC sits on top of, which is the Nexera Chrono in all white. I loved it because the drawers are wood and they make a model with the same wood on the outside, but it was sold out at the time. So I ended up wrapping the drawers instead with vinyl. I absolutely prefer my PC not being on my desk since it's so big and heavy. And then we have my beautiful, powerful PC, which you can watch me build in the card on the screen. I love it so much. It's my baby. Moving on to the rug under my desk, which I got from AliExpress, but I also found it on Amazon. It's so dirty now and it's definitely not coming with me, but I really loved it. This poof is from Amazon. Instead of getting the insert, I just put my seasonal clothes in it so it can get a little frumpy. My chair at the moment is the Hanomi X1, which I've been really enjoying, but I also just got the Blacklight Athena gaming chair right before this and I loved it too. Both great chairs, just very different. And finally, onto my desk, which is the dual laminate standing desk from Dusky in all white. People also think that my desk comes with built-in RGB, but it's actually a Govi desk rope light. On top we have my Razer Black Shark V2 headphones and my Razer Siren V3 microphone, a faux Ikea plant, and my Devoom Dedu clock speaker. This is my very old stream deck that I put a white sticker over top. Then we have my sleek Sonos Ray Essential soundbar that's connected via an 
analog to digital converter into my PC. I'm currently using the Logitech G502X Plus 10th anniversary mouse, the Yoon ZB75 Pro in purple with my Logitech G Aurora Cloud Wrist Rest. So a fan favorite is my programmable macro pad from AliExpress that I use with Via to map out what keys I want. Then my mouse pad is by Orbit Key in large stone. The strawberry candle I got from HomeSense, the controller stand is from Amazon, and the bottom two controllers are the game Sir Nova, and the top is a custom controller that I designed from Hex Gaming. This cute tulip is from AliExpress. It is so janky because it came broken, so I super glued it. I love it, but it's absolutely overpriced. Next is my tall mushroom lamp from Amazon with a standard Gobi RGB bulb inside. This is coming with me to the new place, even though it's kind of crooked. My monitor shelf is also from Desky, and it's in white ash wood. I wanted it for some contrast against the white. I also have the matching desk drawer by them too. It doesn't match perfectly, but it's close enough. Next is my beloved monitor, the MSI MPG 491 CQP QD OLED. I'll be doing an in-depth video about it soon, so stay tuned. I know I haven't fully talked about this, but that's because I'm waiting for the video. It's gorgeous, it's so vibrant, and this was my first super ultra ride. I think I'd love to go a bit smaller in the future so I can have more desk space, but I love it so much. I also use Wallpaper Engine to get all of my wallpapers other than the ones that I've made myself. Colors of this monitor make everything look so good, and the blacks with the OLED are amazing. I love it so much. On top of the monitor is the BenQ Screen Bar Plus, which is pricey, so I'll leave some cheaper options in the description, but I can't be at my desk without a monitor light personally. Behind my monitor is a cheap six foot USB Gobi light strip that I'll be upgrading soon because it's just not bright enough for my taste. Then on my wall is the Ikea LAC shelf in the 64 inch size. I've got some cute pastel prints from Etsy and my globe light from Ikea called the Fado with a Govi RGB bulb inside. Then I've got some trinkets like my Lego Supply Llama, Aang and Cora Funko Pops, a mushroom sculpture from HomeSense, like Opili Bone and Durberger, a frame from HomeSense, and a donut mug from Amazon. And that wraps up my full room tour of this space. By the time you're watching this, I'm already in my new apartment. So thank you so much for supporting me during my time in this space. I've had an incredible year thanks to all of you and I can't wait for you to see the new place. It truly is my dream. If you have any questions or if I missed anything, just leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the new apartment.